So this is Hi guys, so this is video number four. <laughs> I should start writing down um, of um, of how to properly pay, which uh, my mistake is I didn't really utilize it, and um, and my obstacle and experiences in beca um, because I'm starting to read the Bible now in depth and learning and, and you know what I've been saying that I want to be a Christian and a, a full Christian, and it's been long I've been saying it over and over again I don't think and then this time I wanted to really it's been this what, what, my, what my heart desires I turned down a lot of them because the fact that they don't really believe in God and even and then you know and it's hard for me to not um, to raise my kid without you know that gossip that it's gonna be a battle like I said I did a video with that we're not allowed to if they don't believe in God, we're not in the same, um, you know, we're not the same level as them. They, we're not, and we shouldn't marry them, right? What a chaos to raise somebody in him. He's gonna, uh, he's gonna push his belief on you. It's just gonna be a, a battle. If, uh, if a couple is um, marriage in contract with God, they have God above them meaning they believe they're both Christians, they both believe in God, they know that they won't be triggered by anything, no matter how ugly the situation is, because why? They're in contract with God, with God up there. No matter if that person get ugly, get fat, get uh, crazy, get sad, get mad, get anything, you can't, because you if you're married okay that's the thing if you're married um so i cannot let alone my children not know the bible so i uh, i pushed it on them i pushed it on that aside from them continue obviously um you know the roman catholic they need to go to church and thank god uh, my aunt um even if they're old like you know the church being involved in church help my children um mold right because once you uh you mold that will never depart from you no matter what instances in life i almost fell up, away from jesus not from god but from jesus and i i remember that night i was bawling like crying and i said no i'm not gonna live this life without jesus he is the most he is in, he is everything important to me on top of my children right so it's like, no, I can't. I, there's no way. The only way is Jesus to God. It's hard. It's hard to go to God without Jesus. And that's my point. Okay? So the full surrendering of you cannot do this alone is why it leads to this story. You cannot do it of your own. And that's why Jesus came down for that. And it's, it's an annotation that that a person has gone um, through deep, um, um, how do you call it, search for what the true meaning is. And I did, I'm not the type who would like, okay, I'm going to listen to this. Somebody told me this. Okay, that doesn't mean I'm going to tell you, dude. Somebody tell me this. Okay, I don't care. Even if you're my parent or even if you're my aunt, I, I, I have respect. I only, only, only will listen to you if you have God in you. If you have Jesus in you, if you know the teaching of Jesus, and if you are uh, relying it on the scripture, why would I listen to you when I can go to the scripture? Then tell me, right? It's as simple as that. You don't go to. So when you listen, you hear something from the internet, you just don't go and believe it. Please have that um, self discipline in yourself too. Okay. Anyways, uh, every time I talk about Jesus, I'll, I'll just all here so i don't want to get into this I, I have my i'm on the red flag my monthly red flag so i don't want to be um talking about jesus and sometimes my kids i don't want to be talking about them because i'll i'll be emotional okay so um when i pray at times um and forgive me if i do that at times right when you when i pray at times it gives me that feeling of ease right but this is what i um i 
I realized, I analyzed through experience again, is that this is so true, right? When you are um, going so through something, the devil got to you already. He's going to feed you with all these lies, the battlefield again. You know, it's your control. You got to control. Do you really believe what goes in your head? No, right? Because that devil is always there. Always. He does, if you believe in God, you got to believe in the demon. The, the, the demon combination of demon and devil. Because they're real. They're all over you. He's probably right now trying to devour me into saying something bad, right? About, you know, or something. Right? He's real. The moment you realize that, that the human being is not our enemy here, it is that demon, devil, probably floating around, I instill that to my kids too. I know it's traumatizing, but I slowly instill it. I put some good movies there, out there at a certain age, so they know. Devil, right? So they know. I know it's going to give them that. Come on, guys. You got to, when you're uh, molding a child, you got to put pain in the, that child too. Good pain, right? So you got to put that here. Put the fear of that devil so that they know he's real. He's real, okay? So he's going to try everything for you to take you away from your uh, connection with God. Through prayers, through everything. So if you understand this, the, the moment you understand this, the better. It took me so long to realize that, okay, I cannot do this alone. I thought that I was doing it through my routine, through my discipline. No, I can't. I cannot do it. Even reading the Bible on a on a on a time base, it was hard for me. And I have to do a search again. I have to do a search. I'm a very routine person. Like my bath, I have like this bag is for this. And my bath is something washable because I want it all all the time constantly wash. Right? So even if it looks like that, but I know what's in it and I know, right? And I want it in compartmentalized, you know, everything. So with everything, I want routine. But it's hard. So don't be hard on yourself. Perhaps it's what I'm saying. Because it might be. It's saying is because um, you need that full submission of, of surrender again in all aspect that you can't do this alone. And I've always used that example with um. I don't have any napkins. I'm just gonna use this this big one. Um, example of uh, footprints on the on the sand. I've always used that, and I didn't correlate that. Okay, in prayers too. Not only that he's he's there to um, salvage you if you can't do it alone with all your problems and obstacles. He's also there to help you. That's why he came down. He was constantly praying to show us, right? He's, our aim is to follow Jesus.